Hello, Dawn here from Dawn's Inspirations. Now, many of you may have seen these albums in your craft stores or online, and you probably think, well, I do scrapbooking, but these aren't really the scrapbook albums I'd use because they don't have page protectors. So if I open it up, it's just spiral bound, which means you can get a lot in it. They've normally got about 40 pages. But as it's spiral bound, doesn't mean to say you have to fill all 40 pages. You can make really quick albums, 10, 12, 15 pages, even less if you like. But you get high impact pages and albums to give away as gifts. And the extra spare pages you don't need. The quality of the paper is absolutely brilliant. We're going to be using this. So you can use this in other projects if you want to. This is also a great way to buy lots of black card because black card isn't cheap this is great quality again for scrapbooking um, so these albums are good for that so you can just tear out the pages cut them down and use them so there's lots of ways you can use these albums but the way I want to use it today is I bet a lot of you have got these albums at home I've got lots of these before I even started scrapbooking you know the ones where you um, let me peel this back you stick your photographs in well, as we know, now know, the glue is not very good for photographs. These are pictures of my um, honeymoon. And as you can see, the glue will deteriorate these pictures. These weren't digital images either. These were normal roll on the film with the negatives. You can see straight away how the tops of the pages and the bottoms of the pages are turning brown. So I know in not many years to come, these photos are going to deteriorate. So I want to get them out of these albums. You know, my this is just my honeymoon and I've got two of these big 12 by 12 photo albums full of photographs as you can see and I haven't just put one or two on a page there's quite a few on each page little bits of memorabilia that type of thing but I want to show you how you can turn all this from here into a lovely interactive scrapbook in one of these albums okay I'm going to do several videos going to do page by page step by step in real time so you can craft along with me but let me show you what my finished album is going to look like so let me pop this to one side and bring in the finished one I've done I haven't done the front cover yet again that's something else that can be decorated but as we open it up you can see straight away just a few pictures on but I've got a pocket back here for more photographs little bits of memorabilia little cards and that were given so this can all go in this back pocket here so a really simple page to start with this project would be perfect for beginners as well because it's all step by step and I'm going to film it in real time nice double page spread here I've got the paper that coordinates with the edge here going on to this page here now you may think the papers are quite busy they are but they don't detract from the photographs at all you know we've got lots of photographs in here on the inside as well this is actually a pocket so if you pull that out you've got pictures there on the inside of the pocket using those black pages as well to make pockets I've got a nice booklet here lots of photographs in here photographs front and back as well and that just slides in there on this page I've kept a simple page layout I've done interactive and simple page to help with the spine because obviously it's just card onto a spiral spine so I am aware of that that's why I'm not putting too much weight but it doesn't mean to say we can't cram loads in because we can you know there's little bits of memorabilia here not sticking these cut parts down putting them on a spine so you can write your, your little journaling notes there we go over to this page again double page spread lots of photographs I've got one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five yeah eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen photographs in that double page layout again creating a pocket so I'll put a photo mat in here but you could quite easily add some memorabilia as well that would not be a problem whatsoever 
but a great way to get lots of photographs in one place again interactive with your pocket and then just plain flat layout this side so we've not got too much weight when we turn over this side again lots of photographs got a little spot here for journaling making little pockets we're going to be doing all sorts of things this is a large pocket just held in place by one of those cutter parts and I've even stuck a photo on the back of that so when I lift the pocket up again lots of spaces for photographs inside and extra photo mats so perfect so you've got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve on that one page alone so it just shows how much you can actually pop in here and if you pop your cutter part in there that keeps that shut so no magnets at all so this is a really quick way to add gifts you know to make gifts for people quite inexpensive three photographs on this side i could have quite easily put a fourth one as well but i didn't and then the last page we're going to look at it might think it looks quite plain i like the plain look but what we've done is something a little bit different because on each side we have got really big photo mats inside so great for adding your big photo mats memorabilia you know if you've been on one of those cruises and you get your cruise news under your door every day perfect size for this because this pocket is the whole size of this page and i've done exactly the same on the other side there as well so as you can see these pages hold lots and lots of photographs and i have managed to nearly nearly empty out all the photographs in these albums so as you can see i've really started to just go ahead and take all my photographs from here nearly finished the last one as well so i've only got a few pages to add in to finish that in to just that small album with all those photographs so if you would like to join me i'll tell you what you're going to need you're going to need seven sheets of cardstock i have used paper pattern paper from three different collections from prima i've used a poetic rose a flirty fleur and georgian blues and i've used about 12 sheets of that so again not even a whole 12 by 12 pad if you don't want to so you can see how much you can get done it's 12 sheets of pattern paper about seven sheets of coordinating cardstock 12 by 12 and then i'm going to gather my supplies up so supplies you're going to need are paper trimmer ruler bone folder glues i've got tacky and callao and i've also got some transferred into a nozzle fine nozzle um corner rounder pair of scissors red liner tape i've got a black and white journaling pen because i'm using black paper so you can do journaling doodling stamping writing anything you like so black and white journaling pen i've got a pencil i've got uh, my inks so to go with this collection i'm using um distress inks and i've got peacock feathers i have got weathered wood or you could use faded jeans i've got uh, milled lavender and then victorian velvet so they're the distress inks i'm using with a little tool there um the other things you're going to need are a scoreboard and i think that's about it so gather your supplies have a look at what cardstock you've got and you can join me now you may think oh well i haven't got prima card which is absolutely fine no problem whatsoever have a look in your crafty stash and see what you have but let me bring this album in to show you this is one oh, let me get it the right way around this is one oh no i've still got it the wrong way around this is one that i've made with graphic 45 papers so you can see quite easily just using any paper collection these albums work beautifully 
So same principle applies. You just pick the paper collection that you want to use and you too can create an interactive scrapbook album. Get those photographs out from those sticky albums and we can create big albums like this with loads of interaction in them. So I'm going to make a start on page one. So watch the next video and you can join me. See you in a minute.